Hey everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make a separatory funnel for extracting and purifying honey. So let's go! Most everyone has seen these five gallon jugs. They're meant for water and they're put on a little pedestal so that people at work can drink ultra purified water. Well, I was looking for something that had the shape of a separatory funnel because I'd like to be able to purify honey just like I purify other things in the lab. And really the trick to it is just the shape here that we have uh, the density, we have the volume of, the, of what we're going to put in here which is going to be honey. It's going to fill up this big volume and as we're filling up our bottles our volume of honey is going to go down and as it hits this shape, the different particles that are on top, it might be sawdust or pieces of grass, things like that, they float to the very top of the honey. Uh, it's very convenient because then when you get to this part, when, when your, the top of your volume gets down into this area, you can just stop filling up your bottles. You just have this tiny little layer where it's a little bit impure. So this shape is really what we're all about. And then it's just a matter of being able to put it on a pedestal and also get honey into to the top there. So, as you can see here, this is what I've already done. I put various holes in it so I could drain uh, various containers into it any particular time. I have this big hole in there so that I can go in there and clean anything out that I need to after I'm done extracting the honey. So... So the biggest part is just cutting a hole out there. And that's the rig that I use for cutting that hole. Using a hole saw, we just drill through the center of the back of that five gallon carboy. No problem there. And the rest of it is just trying to figure out how to get something that's compatible with the bottom of this. And I rigged it up like so. You need to get a carboy that has a flat lid. And what will happen is then we can just drill a hole right through that lid with the proper diameter of, of these parts we get. You can get from Lowe's or Ace or anywhere like that. Go down to your local hardware store. This was the hardest piece to find. This consists of the lid, a ring to lock the top side of this apparatus, a gasket so we can get a little bit of springiness so that as the honey gets a little bit heavier it'll seal a little bit better. Here's a ring to seal the bottom side. Um, this is just a shaft so that we can connect this valve. The valve is the main component. What we're after, being able to control the flow so now I can just turn this valve open, the honey will flow through here, turn it closed, it stops, and then we have enough of a seal here uh, to keep the honey from spilling out all over everything. And then here's our nozzle so we can, we can uh, get a bottle under there. And then we need a base. here. We put our bottles under here and we have full control of the drainage using this valve. You may have noticed that this wood is just hardwood flooring. It has the notch already built into it so that you can lock all the hardwood together. Well, it's just scrap wood that I could use and you can use anything that you can find around the house. And you just have to cut these angles into it. Since that's a hexagon, then the full angle is going to be 60 degrees. And you can use your miter saw to do those cuts. Make six pieces and then I've screwed them together with two screws here all the way around it and 
that's the form I did for this ring up here and this ring down here. And then in determining the height, I just figured out what kind of bottles I would want to put under there. Because you're locked down by the distance here. And so, so I just cut out my pieces of wood here. And then screwed them together up here. I had to have a little bit of a gap here because of this angle right here. This is tapering down. So I left a little bit of a room so that could happen inside this. But anyway, it's a pretty basic setup and it allows you to separate your honey more so than under normal conditions. And you can just see the impurities up in here and make sure they don't get down into the honey that you bottle for other people. Well, that does it for our video today. I hope you found that helpful in how to make one of these separatory funnels so that you too can purify your honey to, to a higher degree than you ever thought possible. And so it's always free to subscribe and I will see you next video. Have a great week.